Today I went to Carrick Tool in County Cork, where I spoke to Neave O'Connor, a mother of five who works 30 hours a week, um, has lived in the same house for 11 years, but has to be out by Saturday in four days, and she's got nowhere to go. Hi Neve, how are you? I'm great, Sarah, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. So how long? Have you lived in this house? 11 years in May. Yeah, 11 years. Um, got kids? Five. Five children? Mm -hmm. What age is it? Uh, I have a 14 year old, 11 year old, a 10 year old, a three year old and a six month old. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Full on. Do you work? I do, yeah. You, you yeah. work as well? I work as well, yeah, yeah. You manage all that? Have to, have yeah. to be done. I know, I Have know. to be done, yeah. Um, you got a bit of news recently, well, from your landlord, you heard. Uh, yeah, so last yeah. last last May, I was given an eviction notice. Okay. Um, the landlord wanted the house back for her son, yeah. um, which is fine. Um, so we went on the, the speedy Gonzales road, I presume, of like finding somewhere to live. Yeah. So your usual places, daft.ie, property.ie, speaking to estate agents. Um, and things like that um, to see if there's any properties to be rented. So I got a couple of viewings for houses, went to some places. Some places had like 60 to 70 people outside the house. Oh, really? Um, like queues outside the door? Queues outside the door for, for, for renting. Um, and then there's other places where I got no contact back at all. Yeah. Thank you very much for your email and your interest in my property. If you have become one of the sex successful tenants or candidates, we will get in contact with you. Yeah. But I've heard not back. How many places would um, you say you viewed? 20, 20, 25. That takes up an awful lot of time. Yeah. You have five kids and then you're working as well. Mm -hmm. Like that's, that's, yeah. yeah, it's hard going. So when do you need to move out by? Um, Saturday, 1st of April. 1st of April. So what's that? Like? Four days. A few days. Yeah. 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 Where are you going to go? Um, my only option is to present myself to a Garda station with five kids and to say, can you please house me? Because we have nowhere to go. Um, have you got family that could help you? Um, my mum um, lives in the city um, she really couldn't I couldn't impede on her with five children yeah she doesn't have room she, she doesn't have does room does she live in a council house uh, no not her it's her own house okay. it's okay. her own property yeah um, my brother lives with her um, okay. but for me as that being an option I'd have to move my kids schools I yeah. have to take them away from everything they know. Yeah. Uh, we won't have bedrooms to sleep in. Mm. Um, between five children and an adult, and then so you'd have three adults and five children living in a small, yeah, small three bedroom house. Yeah. Um, that's not that's not an option. Yeah. I couldn't Be do that to my kids. Yeah, and anyway, when your kids get to the age they are, they need they need um, routine. Like you, they're in schools here now in, yeah. in Carrie Tool. They're in school, you can't dance, just drag them out. speech and drama, they're after school clubs. No. Yeah. I've a I've an older one, she's doing her junior cert. Yeah. So I can't move her out of there. Yeah. Um I just paid all her fees to go into fourth year. Yeah. Um because my life still has to continue on. Everything that plans down the line, they still have to be planned. Yeah. They still have to be paid for. Yeah. Um, my and son, your work, and, and your work. work, you work locally, yeah, right? Yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to leave my job. You'd have to leave your job, yeah. and then I don't know if I'd be able to claim social welfare. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, it wouldn't make it easy for us. No, oh no, no. Mm. And then if you were like that in the process of trying to claim social welfare, there's people out there, and I know they're waiting weeks upon yeah. weeks upon weeks for a payment to come in, and then they're going to Saint Vincent de Paul and mm. Simon Community to be fed. Yeah. Like that's. Um, have you contacted the council? Um, I'm in the midst of trying to get my council forms in um, because I'm not on a council list. I never was on a council list yeah. because my earnings for money were always too high. I okay. was always over the threshold for earnings. 
Um, so I'm again reapplying because of January the money went up for your yeah. threshold of earnings. So I said I'll put in my forms and see what the story is. So I have to get them back in. Um, and because I'm not on a council list, I'm not entitled to emergency accommodation. Really? Yes. So if you're not on the count Cork County Council list or the City Council list, you're not entitled to present yourself to Cork County Council as mm. being homeless to be put into the system of homeless accommodation. So if you become homeless at the weekend and because you've had so much trouble with the paperwork for getting on the council list, you couldn't get emergency accommodation? No. Shocking. I, no. I had farms there stamped since December and because there's only two birth certs missing, yeah. the originals, um, they sent them all back. Yeah. So you tried to buy this house at some point. Is that, I is did, that right? yeah. Um, with my current landlord that I have now, um, we the house was put up, was put up for sale, but it yeah. has to be put out to the public as well. Okay. Um, so I had the option to buy it. So I saved, scrimped, done what I needed to do to save yeah. to save a nice fair deposit yeah. to buy it. And we kind of got into a little bit of a bidding thing and she outbid us by €5,000. By €5,000. So the landlord, your current landlord, mm -hmm. outbid you by €5,000. Yeah. Yeah. Could your bank or... Could it the was, the mortgage was actually through the rebuild in Ireland with Cork County Council. With Cork County Council, right. Could they... Could they could they help you out in any way? Or? They couldn't give us the extra money. 5,000? Mm -hmm. They couldn't do it? No. The politicians in Ireland will never speak about the real reason Nave is in this mess. They have allowed and supported bringing quarter of a million people into Ireland last year alone. All of these people need health care and housing as well as education. And this is why Nave can't find a house for her family. I've said this before and I'll say it again. It's a... It's a demand issue and not a supply issue. The demand on the housing is what's causing the shortage. Now the government has put a ban on evictions which they're trying to lift with opposition from the far left parties. The leftists will have you believe that Neil's problem stems from the fact that the government is lifting the eviction ban but will never mention why the ban was needed in the first place. Because uncontrolled mass immigration has used up all the housing supply and people have nowhere to live. The only way this eviction ban is going to work is if we carry out mass deportations at the same time. We temporarily prevent people from going into homelessness while we clear out the people that have illegitimately and illegally come into our country. And we free up housing for our people that need it so badly. How is this affecting your life? Like, are you are you stressed out or? Um, is that a silly question. No, it's it's an honest question. Yeah. Um. I'm sure, Mick, it's it's just tearing us apart. Yeah. You know, I'm not the only family. There's. Thousands of other families that are just like me. Yeah. And we're not getting anywhere. The government aren't doing anything for us. The councils aren't doing anything for us. Uh, local TDs, you can you might as well be screaming your head off. Um, and it's just terrible that people are screaming from the rooftops for help. And nobody's helping them. Yeah. You know? Suicide like, rates will go up the wall. You're the type of woman, right, that doesn't need much help. No. You you know, you've done a fantastic job here. You've a beautiful house, right? You've lovely children. You work every day. You're not asking for help on a regular basis. No. But you're here now in this situation and right the predicament that the Irish government have put us in as a country has left you, you know, in this 
situation and you know they're not they're yeah. not even willing to help you no and it's not my kids fault no absolutely not no, no. no. i can go to a guard station i can sleep in my car yeah you know yeah. It, i'm an adult yeah. i'm more yeah. than capable of looking after myself mm. yeah but they're my kids yeah and at the end of the day mommies will always look after their kids of course. and there'll be no mommy on this planet that will let anything happen mm. to their children yeah. They will die for their kids, and this this is what they're put. This is what they're putting on the Irish people. 